Guangzhou is the third largest city in China. Also, it's the capital of Guangdong province. It serves as the transportation hub and the landing point in here. So, a lot of people fly to Guangzhou or come to Guangzhou. They may want to visit factories in the nearby cities. How do you go to the other cities from Guangzhou? My name is Mabel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get to the train to different places. There are three train stations in Guangzhou. The oldest one is called Guangzhou Station and then it's Guangzhou East and Guangzhou South. Uh, today, I'm going to take you to the Guangzhou East Station. Why? Because that's my favorite station. It's right in the city center. It's in Tampa CBD area. There are so many shops around it and restaurants as well. Uh, personally, I like to go to this station and take the train to Hong Kong or Shenzhen. Guangzhou is really the transportation hub. If you want to go to the nearby factories to visit factories, you can take a train from Guangzhou easily to get to other places. For example, Jiangmen, Foshan, Dongguan, Zhongshan. There are lots of factories in those cities that specialize in certain products. So you may need to go there and to network and meet the factory owners and see how the production goes. Also, if you are going to Macau, you can take the train to Zhuhai and just cross the border. So I just got to the train station. To get to this train station, you can just take the metro or taxi to Guangzhou East train station. Actually, you can take the metro to reach to all the other stations too. So before we are getting into the train, we need to do security check. So that's that's the waiting room. After you get your ticket, you just go through here if you are going to Shenzhen. And also if you are going to um, the second floor, you can get the ticket to Hong Kong, to Hong Kong Hong Kong, which takes about two hours. And to Shenzhen, it's one hour and it also passed by Dongguan. So, so it's quite convenient. You can also get your tickets at these machines. I guess for passport, probably better to get it at the tickets window. And that's the information center. You can walk out from the train station through the Moko Po Park and once you are on the ground level, you can see a lot of restaurants. You can see Pizza Hut, Starbucks and um, some boba tea places. So it's quite nice here and you can get to eat after the train ride and also across the street, there is Ikea. Looks familiar, right? So um, that's why I love this train station. It's so close to everything and you can get to the city easily. Why Guangzhou South Station has the fastest train in Guangzhou? Guangzhou Station has the slowest train. So don't go there or just try to avoid it. Some high speed train may pass by there, but the station is a bit, a bit old and 
It's located in the west part of Guangzhou. It's not that hard to get to, but most people uh, prefer to go to Guangzhou South or Guangzhou East. Take note. I will put the information about the train in the link below so that you can find there are more. I know it might be a bit complicated to take the train through Guangdong province or in China because not many people can speak English or might be able to help you at the train station so it's better to just find out all the information beforehand. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment uh, page or you can just send me a message privately. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit of uh, taking the train in Guangzhou. I will see you in the next video. If you're still watching it, consider subscribing.